Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard for another Epic Universe construction update. But first, I wanted to point out some awesome new Halloween merch that I just dropped. You can get it on themeparkwizard.shop. It is in the description below. Themeparkwizard.shop. Look at these awesome cool designs made by Theme Park Lifestyle. Follow him on Facebook because he's absolutely fantastic at designing anything you want. Halloween merch drop down in the log down in the description. So please enjoy as Halloween is coming up. All right. Now we're on to the actual update itself. All these photos are thanks to Bio Reconstruct, as always, on Twitter. Definitely give him a follow. He's fantastic. Gives aerial images of mostly Orlando parks. But yes, here we are over Epic Universe. This is the ministry or the classic monsters land. Sorry. Right here is the classic monsters. The massive show opening is going to be where the Kuka arm dark ride is of course and where number seven is that's gonna be where the spinning coaster or the rumored mock spinning coaster is um with this there's a little small show building there for a dark ride segment you can see a little bit to the, the the little bit to the right of the seven the number one will be the entrance to the dark uh, the kuka arm frankenstein attraction two three and six will be shops and eateries throughout this classic monsters land here is a zoomed in photo of the proposed um, mock spinning coaster you can see some footage starting to form specifically over there to the left and to the right for the coat and over in the kind of yeah, it's kind of to the top center of the image you can see some those gray concrete blocks are some of the footers for this small spinning coaster attraction Moving on, you can see this massive dirt pit, and this is actually for the mock spinning coaster. You can see again those footers to the bottom left of the image. There is a rumor update about this land, including some really awesome rumors. I'll link the video to the top or to the in the cards of this one. Screamscape and Alicia Stella made out some very cool cool rumors for this land. So definitely check that out I'm very excited for the classic monsters land to open But moving on now moving on to the wizarding world of Harry Potter This is the proposed Ministry of Magic attraction Which you can see is a major major show building with like three to five stories right there It's the only attraction in this land and the other Attract or not only rides are in this land the other attraction will probably most likely be a theater attraction and this is the thing believed to be themed to the French Ministry of Magic or potentially the London Ministry of Magic but I think they're going with French I think they're kind of deciding but yeah this is that massive uh, ride system that is st still kind of unknown at this point and this is another photo of the Wizarding World World Land but it's half of the main plaza and half of the Wizarding World. You can see again that massive Ministry of Magic show putting to the top but where that fountain looking thing that circle is is really part of you know Helios or that Helios is the proposed hotel name but it's that you know celestial space hub is what I'm going to call it and it's where this uh, fountain show akin to something like World of Color or what Universal Studios Florida has uh, with the celebration show that will be that in that circle, that massive foundation circle right there. Speaking of the hub, who has moved down the hub, all these footers, clear footers, are for the proposed dueling roller coaster. And there's lots of track on site for that, which we'll get to in a later in a couple of pictures down here. But yeah, look at all that track, and you can see a lot of steel and rebar for, I suppose, maybe probably the station building there. But this will be a high speed dueling racing coaster again themed to space i'm not sure what the rumored title of it is or name is but the whole the whole hub will be themed to space because again epic universe and here's a big overview of that proposed coaster i mean look at that it goes right from the center of the park all the way to the top and does kind of a, like an out and back turn this will be a launched dueling coaster you'll be racing every single time which is fantastic 
Think of it like a West Coast Racers, but a faster version of West Coast Racers at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Not sure if they'll ha this will have any inversions. I'll probably have a couple. This is coming from Mock Rides as well. So Mock is definitely doing a nice partnership with Universal, at least with Epic Universe. As uh, Epic Universal or uh, Universal worked with Intamin the past couple coasters, Velocicoaster and Hagrid's, but now now they're moving up to Mock with uh, the spinning coaster and this dual high speed coaster, which is pretty cool as well. And here are the tracks for that high speed co dueling coaster. You can see there's going to be a blue side and a, a turquoise ish, bluish side. Um, maybe green? I don't know. It's probably more turqu turquoise and blue versus yellow which might be like the sun versus I don't know the sky maybe um I don't know if the track color will have any like meaning or theme but I can see them going for like a sun versus sky almost like a fire an homage to fire and ice here's more coaster track for the what like one of five coasters coming to this park as it opens it's just insane it's awesome this one is for the how to train your dragon family coaster include an underwater tunnel which you can see in the next picture is under construction already which is super cool having an underwater tunnel as you go you fly on the back of toothless as you train your own dragon and get a tour of this land yeah here it is the underwater tunnel feature of the land which i believe will have a waterfall as well if it's the same structure i'm thinking of as in the concept art um uh, the onlookers will have a nice little waterfall. Yeah, this will be a nice family coaster. Not too slow, but not too fast. I'd say maybe in the 40, 50 mile per hour range that goes around the entire land. It's actually a pretty very long coaster, and this is the biggest land in the park. So, plenty of rides here and plenty of things to see. In fact, here is a whole overview of the land. I mean, look at that, that thing, it's massive. Um, I'm not sure the acreage, but I'd say easily between 12 to 14 acres, if not more. There's going to be a, nine, a rumored 900 seat feeder in this land as well, as, well with the splash battle attraction, the family coaster. There's a couple of flat rides as well. Um, so yeah, this will be quite the family fun center, fa family fun zone for all ages. I mean, every land will, but this will have certainly the most to do. And again, a massive show, 900 seats. Um, hopefully with a, maybe an animatronic dragon in there, animatronic toothless, like they do have, have at Universal Studios Japan. That would be quite fun. But yeah, excited to see all of this shape up and, you know, take hold. It's going, getting under construction super, super fast. Going back to the Wizarding World, this is a closer look at the Ministry of Magic building. You can see those curved pieces, curved steel pieces starting to form at the entrance to this building of the queue of the this attraction um yeah i mean just looks incredible and keep in mind all this is going to open by 2025 it said latest by summer 2025 so maybe some lands like super nintendo world and maybe the wizarding world will open earlier in 20 late 2024 or early 2025 because i mean this stuff is rapidly moving along and now we're Moving on to the In Park Hotel. This is this area is where the In Park Hotel is going to be. And again, there's that big fountain structure, that circular fountain structure where, where some fountain shows are rumored to happen. This hotel is rumored to be called Helios, or at least called Helios in the permits or per permit filings. So I'm very excited to see this hotel rise. You see that the foundation's barely starting. I mean, it really isn't even a foundation yet, so. But hotels doesn't take too long to form. There is a rumor that the hotel, either this one or one of the offsite hotels, could be open in 2024 or even 2023, a full year before the hotel, uh, the land itself or the park itself opens. The classic Monsters Land and Wizarding World, no, and How to Train Your Dragon are probably. My most excited, anticipated lands for this park. Let me know yours in the comments below. But here, here's the land that probably excites you guys the most. And here's the full Super Nintendo World. Yes, the full thing. Donkey Kong, Yoshi, and Mario Kart. You can see the Mario Kart tracks in the about 
the center of the photo, a clear, clearly defined Mario Kart track starting to form that curved um, track piece right there. And right next to it is the loading platform for the Yoshi Adventure attraction. And all that steel where all those cranes are, that is the Donkey Kong coaster. And you see lots of track um, is on site for that. And lots of supports and even some track of the, the, the real track has been installed. The fake track is not here yet. The real roller coaster track will be under the fake track. It has been installed. And yeah, Super Nintendo World is quite, quite busy. And it looks, it's even here, even in its bigger form, very compact. A very intimate land, which is which is great. Um, you know, just really more immersive, which is fantastic. This one is also one I can imagine opening, at least soft opening in maybe late 2024. Because I mean, look at it, it's done. They've already built two of them, so they already know what they're building, so they can build it faster. Yoshi Adventure, Mario Kart, and Donkey Kong are again visible construction, all of them have steel up, and uh. Yeah, they're just they're just going to town on Super Nintendo World, which is fantastic. I wish Hollywood had the space to have all this in theirs, but again, we got Take Left for Pets instead of Yoshi. But I hope we can find a space for Donkey Kong, because that would be quite nice. It sounds like a really fun coaster. And here's the overview of the entire park. Yes, this massive park, Universal's largest park ever. And... It's going to be one of the largest theme parks in the United States. And certainly the largest one built since California Adventure and Islands of Adventure back in 1999. Oh, 2001 for California Adventure and Islands of Adventure 1999. I that's when they started construction. But yeah, this is super incredible. I mean, wow. I remember when Universal was buying up the land for this. Uh, they bought a thousand acres. This whole acre, this whole thing is a thousand acres. I think there's... About 750 acres left of this open space for a potential park expansion, back of house expansion, new hotels, whatever they want to use it for, um, which is insane. That means they can easily fit yet another park in the Epic Universe property. But the Epic Universe property already has two expansion pads, which um, you'll see in these in the spaces in between the lands. You can see one between How to Train Your Dragon and Wizarding World to the right. Another one between Classic Monsters and Super Nintendo World to the left. And already they're having a rumored expansion of Lord of the Rings, which would be super, super cool. Especially have two fantasy properties right next to each other like that. You have Wizarding World and Lord of the Rings. Those would be some incredibly, incredibly immersive lands if Lord of the Rings does get built. That'd be that'd be very, very nice. But overall, I'm very excited about the future of this park, or of Universal and this park in general cannot wait to see it open in 2025 i'll for sure be visiting um orlando for this let me know in the comments below are you excited for epic universe will you be visiting orlando just for this will this take away some of your walt disney world days will you even visit disney world or you just do a whole universal trip now when this opens because there'll be so much to see or will you fit in both and once again theme park wizard dot shop with some awesome halloween merchandise if you order it now, you'll get it the week of September 1st to 2nd, which is just a couple days, a couple days before uh, Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood starts, which is fantastic. If you're in Orlando, you'll get it about the same week Halloween Horror Nights starts, so you can wait to the park, show it off during Halloween Horror Nights or any Halloween event this year in any park in the nation and show off that Theme Park Wizard pride. So go ahead, themeparkwizard.shop and get all your Halloween merch. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button, share it so people can see what's going on with Epic Universe, and as always, uh, you know, subscribe for more theme park updates and subscribe for more Epic Universe updates and Super Nintendo World updates here in Hollywood, and as always, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye, everybody.